What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve, BB Pro Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to another episode of Chain With Me. Today we're going over my top three best and worst glute exercise. Before we get started, this episode is sponsored by my sponsor, Blue Star Nutraceuticals. So guys, make sure you head over to bluestarnutraceuticals.com and use my code Johnny10 for 10% off. And guys, thank you and Blue Star Nutraceuticals for giving me the ability to give you guys the best content that you can get. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, keep your eyes peeled, the screen, your ears glued to the speakers and learn some shit. One of the exercises that I feel that get totally misunderstood and that's wide stance leg press. That's gonna help your glutes so much. No, it's not. You know why? Now, we're getting a lot of hip flexion, but at the top of the lift, we have zero hip extension. So if you want your glutes to actually get bigger, it has to go through a full range of motion through the hip flexion to extension part, right? So no matter how much you widen your stance or push with your heels, you're not gonna smash the glutes as well as they should when it comes to actually building your glutes. Here we go again. Another one of those leg press phenomenons and how much this is gonna actually hit your glutes because if you lay on your side, it's gonna hit the glutes that much more. No, it's not, okay, again, Yes, we're gonna get a little bit of glute activation because it has to push through this lift a bit. But again, for this lift to really target the glutes the entire way, we need to have full hip extension. Yes, we're getting hip flexion, but guess what? Go to the top, no more hip extension, just limited range of motion. So you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna work your quads sideways. Good job. None of those exercises, we're just gonna waste our time doing a bunch of reps, hoping that we're gonna build the best glutes of our lives, and we're just not. This is basically like the tricep, the dumbbell tricep kickback for glutes. You know why? We're not gonna get a load at all in this. So unless you're using this workout for to warm up your glutes, a few things you need to do. Number one, correct your form. So you're not just gonna do this and hopefully work something out by just killing your lower back. And then again, when we're doing this, we need more of a load. So this exercise alone isn't going to do anything. Number one, two, if we even do this inside like a Smith machine, I'm sure some of you guys have seen somebody use a lying hamstring curl machine and kick the rest of that and have someone else in there sitting there pissed off waiting for the machine to be done while you do donkey kicks on their favorite hamstring machine. It's still not gonna give you the best amount of activation on your glutes. This exercise, can be definitely not used to build anything, but maybe just to warm your glutes up. Please don't try and load this thinking that you're gonna get the best amount of glutes. And if I see any guys wearing some ankle weights, I'm gonna knock you right back to the 1980s where they came from, along with them damn high socks and flash dance. Don't do them. So first on the list for the top glute exercise is any squat pattern. Can be back squats, front squat, Goblet squat. Any form of squat, why? Because we're getting most amount of hip flexion and knee flexion, and then all the way up for full hip extension. Number two on the list is Romanian deadlifts. Again, Romanian deadlifts are really good because why? We're looking at the actual movement. Our glutes are in charge of hip extension from a stationary position. So unlike you know doing step ups where we're getting hip extension from actually doing the step up from, from knee flexion and hip extension, we're getting no knee flexion here, but we're getting most amount of hip flexion to get the fullest amount of hip extension. And we can load this one pretty good too. You can do this with dumbbells, barbell, kettlebell, whatever bell you wanna use. Just make sure that we're getting full amount of hip, hip flexion and then hip extension. And last but not least, we have basically lunge variation. We can do reverse lunges, stepping right back. We have complete knee and hip flexion to extension. We can do curtsy lunges. We're gonna work the glutes a little more with adding in the glute medius. And then, step ups. We're doing step ups, we're getting the most amount of activation from actually stepping up using the weight and controlling ourselves down, we're getting full hip and knee flexion and extension. 
Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know what McCumble the Telic it is, transparent, vulnerable truth of a coaching, johnashu.com. If you want to know more about my coaching, put yourself a 15 or 30 minute consult. At the end of the consult, I deduct it off any package that you pick. Also guys, hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that help save your life or change life for the better. And guys, add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you. Cause you know how it is, Iron Sharp is Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.